Hi, this is Fidel from AllSimBaseball.com. Uh, reminder, be sure you're watching this in HD. You really want to make sure you can see everything on the screen as clear as possible. Uh, this set of tutorials is only for online leagues that are hosted by AllSimBaseball.com. So if you're not being hosted by us, uh, you want to check out the the other set of videos that was made for Out of the Park Baseball 12. It's virtually the same kind of thing, but uh, it's going to be totally different from these videos. Um, okay, so you've got hosting with All Sim Baseball. So the first thing you want to do is open up the email that was sent to you titled, Your Site is Ready. Open that up, and in that email, uh, there's a lot of important info, so be sure to read it very carefully. I've had several customers who've uh, emailed me a question only to find out later that the answer was in the in the email. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. There is a text file that is attached. You want to go ahead and save that somewhere temporarily. I put put it right here on my desktop. So I'm going to open that up. And uh, in this text file, we see it says save this text file, do not delete. Uh, after you finish using it and setting everything up, uh, you you want to go save it somewhere safe and maybe password uh, protect it somewhere or put it on the flash drive and you know and hide it somewhere. You just don't want people able to get your your usernames and passwords because they can do a lot of damage to your website if, if someone was to get this info. Okay, with that with that part uh, taken care of, let's uh, let's get started. This first video is only about how to set up the FTP uh, online settings. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to try to do that as quickly as possible. Okay, so please try to follow along. Okay, go to game, set up an options, online options, and enable online league mode. I want to set a commission password. I'm going to set it to baseball. You should set set yours to something much more secure than baseball but just for this tutorial I'm keeping it simple online league settings and we have this information that we need to input luckily everything is right here in that text file and everything is in the same order as you find it here it's just a matter of copy and paste so we're gonna get started host and port host we're using a website called evolutionbaseballleague.com and uh, this is most likely going to be the name of your website as well. The username is this part here that looks like it looks just like a, an email address. Password. Be very careful about copying and pasting. If you accidentally copy an extra space like this, it's just going to mess up everything. So make sure in everything you're copying and pasting, you don't copy too much or miss any characters so remove all the asterisks before you paste this password because I've seen people have something like that and then they'll paste in the password and it's all wrong but you want to make sure it's blank before you paste the password next uh, we have the target path on server okay target path on server and uh, leave file name it, it says something like default okay but I want mine to be the name of my my uh, not my website, the name of my league. So mine is evolutionbaseballleague.com. So I'm going to put evil BBL. Okay, and let's go ahead and test the settings. Success, and make sure it finds the folder. If it exists, you're all good. Okay, next. As the email says, uh, as the text file says, use FTP to download the league file. Make sure that is checked. Okay, we're going to go through the same process. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy these over. Control C, Control V, because they're the same. Control C, Control V. Uh, but password, I'm just going to get it from here. It's the same password. Control C. Paste it there. Okay. And the target path on server is the same as it was above for this because it's where your leak file is located. Okay. And uh, leak file name, they must match. If they don't match, you're going to have problems. So make sure this leak file name matches this leak file name. Next, your leak file URL. Leave it blank. 
go ahead and test the settings and the folder exists we're all good here next report upload options once again uh, a lot of the information is the same as up here uh, first the method we're going to upload reports to MySQL database and I'm just going to copy the host copy paste the username copy and paste you get my password here it's the same password and report upload options copy and get rid of all the asterisks paste and target path on server we want this part because this is the reports so paste reports URL we do need this so what that is is right here reports URL we'll go ahead and copy that and we'll paste it there test the settings oh we're gonna have a problem here uh, as you can see okay everything exists that's not the problem look down here I think I copied some extra spaces so let's get rid of those we saw some characters show up there we don't want that okay anyway the test was fine then create PHP PHP server script files go ahead and click that Move that over here for now we also have that information here create PHP server script files okay the database whoops make sure we copy it all Control C, we'll copy that, paste it. The the database and the database the path I'm sorry, the name of the database user are the same, so you can paste the same thing there. Okay. The password. Copy that. Put it in here, the password. And uh, the database name for the reports. It's that's just reports. Paste that there. Okay, and we need the URL of the reports folder. URL of the reports folder is here. So again, it's the same thing as it was above. We'll uh, copy that. Copy paste okay we don't have any extra characters in there everything looks right okay and the path to the reports folder oh. copy paste okay click OK and the game's gonna create some files for us uh, we have one, two, three files here that we're going to upload to the server, but not now. Uh, you'll see this in the next video. So for now, we'll just minimize this and we'll come back to it. Okay, keep that. And then we want to go to the team file transfer options. Once again, the host and port is the same and the username is the same everywhere. So we'll go ahead and just copy and paste. Copy. And paste uh, the path on server copy that and password copy that again get rid of all those asterisks and let's test success the folder exists okay and that's it down here is your email options that's something that's optional you don't have to do it but if you decide to do it it's fairly simple and straightforward uh, for now that's it uh, we'll see you in the next video where we upload the lead reports